Hey cruisers, welcome back to Vlogtoberfest. I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and tonight we're going to talk about 10 things you should never bring on your cruise. In the pre-chat we were talking a little bit about this. We're not talking about like don't pack your own beach towels, you don't need a blow dryer. We're talking about the stuff that's going to get you in big fat trouble. So like serious prohibited items tonight. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I feel like this shirt is just very like librarian meets winter. It's just not very sherry. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm not wearing my resort wear tonight and I'm feeling like, whoa, it's a little serious when I saw it on camera. But hello to those of you who have just joined. It's great to see all these faces in here. Yeah, Ginger, my travel agency does plan trips. Catalina Island would probably be really easy to plan on your own, but you could definitely reach out to Wendy and Heather and the team and see if they could help you with Catalina. Um, it's pretty fun, pretty fun. So Karen and Gord like the top. Okay, it's kind of retro. It's kind of retro. Yeah, kind of school marm, Mike and Cheryl. I'm feeling the school marm too. So before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know something kind of fun. I've pinned this in the top of the chat as well, but we did something new today on our Amazon channel. We uploaded shoppable photos, which is really hard to explain. But basically what we did is on our last cruise, we took photos of the outfits I was wearing that I had bought on Amazon. And today I've linked all of them on our Amazon account right at the top. So you're gonna see four photos of the rompers, dresses, and things that I was wearing. It's actually, I think it's two rompers and two dresses. And so if you wanna shop my outfits from the last cruise, you can do that now a little bit easier. Oh my goodness, Betty Eakin said, thanks for all your suggestions. We just booked our third Royal Caribbean trip for 2022. My goodness, Betty. Thank you for that early super chat. We are so incredibly thankful for that and congratulations. Royal Caribbean is wonderful. We love Royal Caribbean. So let's talk about some of these forbidden items and then we'll do Q&A in the second half of the chat. So you can type in your question now and Mr. Cruise Tips TV is gonna put it in on the screen for me or if you, if you want to, I would wait about five or 10 minutes and then type your question in the chat if you have one. But let's talk about some of the forbidden things you should not pack. But while I'm doing that, why don't you type into the live chat, since we are live, what you think are some forbidden items that you can't take on a cruise so the people who are watching this on replay can have some fun with it. No, Jim, rompers are allowed, most of them allowed on cruises. So number one, the number one thing, or item number one that you should not take on a cruise is a controlled substance of any kind. Drugs, while certain ones may be legal where you live, in the state where you live, on cruise ships they are not, and they are definitely not legal in port and you can get into big 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 trouble by taking drugs or controlled substances off of the ship and into port like end up in jail captain having to bail you out kind of trouble and that is not the kind of thing we want on a cruise that's number one thing you want to avoid i'm very curious to see what everybody um everybody says in the the uh the chat here. That was a good one, Carol. We're going to be talking about that soon. Number two is kind of related to the one that I just mentioned, but it's actually going to surprise some of you. And that is that CBD oil in general is not allowed on cruise ships. Now, if you want to try to take it on a cruise ship, if you have gummies or gels or something and you want to try to do it, okay, you might get away with it. However, you do not ever want to try to take CBD products or oil off of the ship. There may be drug sniffing dogs who will sense it, pick it up, and you could end up in very big trouble for CBD. So leave your CBD products at home. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, it's legal, it's legal. But if you go to the websites, uh, the cruise line websites, you're going to see that this is a trend. People are starting to talk about this. They're starting to talk about the fact that you can get in trouble with CBD oil. So I would leave that at home. Um, number three, irons and steamers. Now, hair curling irons and hair straighteners are perfectly fine. You can absolutely take your hair tools, but you cannot take irons and steamers. I posted on Facebook today about this topic, and someone said they were completely shocked when they went to retrieve um, some alcohol that they had purchased on a cruise ship, that they went to the place where the forbidden items had also been held, and what they were shocked at how many people brought full-size clothing irons. So... There you go. 
That's one you want to leave at home. Number four is not going to surprise you, and that is you want to leave your booze and your beer at home. You can take wine and champagne on board on some cruise lines in accordance with their beverage policies. Not all cruise lines actually do allow that, but most of the major ones still do, like Carnival, Princess, Royal Caribbean. I don't think Norwegian does, um, but you want to leave the booze and the beer at home and buy that on board. Number five thing you cannot take is a weapon or a realistic replica of a weapon. So a toy gun, maybe like a water shooter or something, maybe you could get away with that, but if you had a replica of a gun, that would be bad. Number six is kind of funny, but it is actually forbidden on most cruise ships. You cannot take handcuffs on board most cruise ships, which is kind of funny. We had a good laugh about that a little bit earlier today, but it is true. Number seven is candles and incense. Basically, anything flamey, anything that will burn, you cannot take it on a cruise ship. Number eight is perishable food and meat products. Sure, you could take some, you know, potato chips or you could take, um, you know, a bag of nuts or something, but you couldn't, you can't take fresh fruit, you can't take a sandwich, you can't take any of that stuff on a cruise ship. Not allowed. Number nine item, we're getting close to the end of the list here. I promised you I would do this quickly, is you can't take chemicals like beet bleach, which actually someone might pack a thing of spray bleach these days. It wouldn't surprise me. I used to take bleach on a cruise all the time. I would take a little bottle of it when I cruise in a um, cabin with a bathtub and I would bleach the tub. You're not allowed to do that. Other chemicals would be like paint. I don't know why anyone would take paint, but you never know. And the number 10 item is you can't take torch lighters. Interestingly enough, you can take matches and normal lighters in case you're a smoker. That's probably the only reason you would use um, a lighter since you can't take candles, but you cannot take torch style lighters. So let's see what everybody else had to say here. Scott Kaler said, are drones okay? They are generally okay. They're not forbidden to be taken on a cruise ship, but they are not allowed to be used on a cruise ship. And some cruise lines make you surrender your remote when you get on and then you can get the remote back when you go into ports. We never pack drones. To us, it is a nightmare. We have no interest in dealing with all the different drone laws. You can get in big trouble for using drones. You can have your drone confiscated. You can be fined. It's just not our jam, but you're not supposed to do it. So there you go. Yeah, I know, first time cruiser, I don't think you're even supposed to take the fuzzy furry handcuffs, but you might be able to pull that off. You might be able to pull that off. Um, Mariah, you can take nail polish. Good question. It does not count as paint. What an excellent question. That is such a good question. I'm going to go back and see what everybody said a little bit earlier about what you can't take because I'm really curious to hear what y'all thought. Yep. Yep. Okay. These are some good ones. Jim had listed them all out. Guns, handcuffs, drugs, and mother-in-laws. You're too funny. <laughs> yep. Mariah was right about the no permitted booze. Um, okay, Lisa Kennan said, I need a list for a 15-day Panama Canal cruise. We have a Panama Canal packing video that should help you out. Lisa, message me privately on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll send it to you. Uh, I think that we can do that. Not a problem. Um, Shannon, there you people do smoke pot on cruise ships all the time outdoors. I'm going to be honest with you. I've smelled it on several of my last cruises. However, it is not really technically allowed, just so you know, but people do do it. Um, somebody said, why do you call your husband Mr. Cruise Tips TV and not by his name? Because he's a private person and he doesn't really want to share that. So there you go. Um, uh, <laughs> Douglas, yes, make your fake weapons very obvious. Diana said, did Junior need the Royal Caribbean app while cruising or are you able to do all your necessities with the parents app? Parents app is fine. Kids don't need the separate app. In fact, we only downloaded one in the party. Oh, very interesting. Zen Kakuji said, Sudafed's not allowed in Japan, so one medication to avoid on those cruises. Excellent. Mariah said, no roller skates or skateboards. Excellent one, and not every cruise line forbids those. So that's good. You must have found another policy, and I'm really proud of you for doing that research. That was good. Very, very good. I know, right? Ginger said, no need to sneak the booze on now that they offer pre-purchased bottles for balcony cocktails. No kidding. Some of them are pretty reasonable, too. It's pretty amazing. All right. Um, yeah, Queen of Fun LED candles are okay. Very good. Very good. Tammy said an iron or a tea kettle. I take a small steamer. Probably not allowed either. Steamer's not allowed. The tea kettle generally isn't allowed either because of the heating element, but some people manage to get them on. Um, Steve Roth said, Sherry, do you think things are going to come to a head with, med with medicinal marijuana in non-smokable forms, edibles, etc.? 
essentially the cruise lines could be denying someone legit medication. Um, I like what you did there. Come to a head. That was a good one, Steve. No, I don't. I don't think they're going to start cracking down on it or anything, but you definitely do not want to walk off that ship at any point with any edibles or CBD or cannabis or anything even closely related with THC in it because you could get into major trouble. So in a lot of cases, it's not so much the cruise line that's your problem. It's the ports, especially Mexico. Be very, very careful. Um, Ashley, e-cigarettes, is that is that the same as a vape? Because I think vapes are allowed, right? Is that right? Lucretia, I'm so sorry that I missed your beautiful super chat. Thank you so very much for that. Lucretia said, you've been my go-to packing guru from day one. Everything I've learned about what to bring and how to hook up my room has come from you. Thank you for all you do. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lucretia. That is exactly the type of thing that makes us smile and keeps us going. It's that the foundation of who we are at Cruise Tips TV is just really providing people with the ability to have a more stress-free travel planning experience. So when we hear things like that, it takes us back to our roots and back to the core values and things we love here at Cruise Tips TV, Lucretia. So thank you for that. Happy Vlogtoberfest to you, Lucretia. Hi, Mom. How are you? Paul said, can I bring my solar-powered patio lanterns? Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know. That's a good question. You might be able to. You might be able to do that, actually. Hi, Banya. Nice to see you. Um, Ginger said skateboards and bikes can get pre-approved so you can take them into port. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Nancy said it's so windy in California. OMG. Oh yeah. Just ridiculous. One of my birdhouses blew down today and broke. I found it shattered on the patio. Our chairs are upside down in the backyard. I've got one of my patio chairs is on top of our, um, what do you call it? Our outdoor fireplace. It's literally like upside down and on top of it. It was horrible. It's actually still horrible. And my allergies are, ugh, my skin is itching just head to toe. It's so horrible. Just really bad wind everywhere here today. Um, no roller derby on ships. Actually, the funny thing is on Virgin Voyages, there is a staff member whose job it is to like roller skate around the whole ship, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, good one, John. John said you can't bring certain types of radios like ham or VHF. Yes, that's true. Ham radios are forbidden. That is very good. Did anybody help me to clarify if e-cigarettes are the same as vapes? Mr. Christopher, were you nodding about that? Yeah. Beachy Mama made a good point. If it's even a question, just don't pack it unless you're for sure it's not worth getting into trouble or ruining your vacation. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry about that. So, Jim, you lost your patio umbrellas? Oh, no. Oh, no. Patio umbrellas in the bottom of the pool. That's the kind of win we've had today, guys. It's been a little bit crazy. Banya said, question, what about medications that need to be stored in the fridge on ice? Would that be somehow accommodated? Yes, it would be. I um, There are certain cruise ships that have really great functioning refrigerators, and there's some that are older that just don't. But if you if you need to take those, yes, you should be able to ask the stateroom steward for a functioning refrigerator. Um, some of them are just coolers. Our example on Adventure of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's older ship, was that those were not refrigerators. They called them coolers, and they were not cold at all. They wouldn't even keep a bottle of water cold, so in that case, you would need to ask for help. Um, yeah. Oh, man, John, that sounds about right about the kids with the vape liquid. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, changing times for sure. Um, yeah, Char, you can take your insulin. Do you have to keep it cold, Char? Do you have to refrigerate it? I'm curious about that. I know, right, Mike and Cheryl? I feel like the wind is blowing in the virus, though. My poor, my poor team at work. I had four out of six people sick last week. So it's been really, really going around in California. Brandon said, can you bring your own streaming device like Apple TV or Roku to connect your in-room TV? You can. I don't know that it would work. Can you Can you stream? Connect to the, no? Not well. Mr. Crucifix TV said not well. So probably not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, air quality blew all the smoke away, Jim. No kidding, right? Especially where you're, where you're at. You guys have a lot of smoke over there. Um, Anyhow, good job holding your questions that are just general, guys. Feel free to ask some more questions now at this point, and we'll answer questions for the next 15 minutes or so. Excited to do that. Hey, Mr. Crucifix TV, can you do me a favor? Can you go to the oven and take the foil off the enchiladas? It'll just pull it right off. It just, it's done with its little steamy bit. 
Yes, Scott Kaler said it sounds like fall is coming in with a bang. Yeah, and we've had the cool temps too, Scott. It's so crazy. <laughs> Shannon said Steve's new job, roller ambassador on Virgin. Wouldn't that be the most fun job in the world? Like, I would like to do that cocktail waitress on wheels. That would be so much fun. I love it. I love it. You guys have had storms too, Shannon. Aw. Okay, Steve Ross said, Sherry, what about bikes being allowed on board? I think a certain port's a call that would be known for cycling. Yeah, someone said earlier you can get special exceptions to bring them on board. I did not know that, but that's a really that's really cool. Yeah, Shannon, enchilada. We're making like enchilada casserole. It's so good. I love it. It's my comfort food. It's just so easy. Nancy, I haven't been on um, Mardi Gras just yet. Um, Barney said, if you get caught trying to bring in liquor, what are the repercussions, if any, confiscated and held to the end of the cruise? Otherwise, they're probably not going to do anything. Um, but yeah. Mmm, beachy mama, no margaritas tonight. But that sounds so good. So good. I know, right? We're hosting dinner tonight, Vernon. It's just that comfort food Monday. Denisha said, question, yummy, did you use the leftover salsa chicken? I didn't because we ate that yesterday and we made like a wonderful soup so charles i think that was in the chat yesterday on amazon when we made the chicken he's like what if we put this over rice and i was like mm, the rice sounds really good so i ended up making like a rice chicken tortilla soup with the rest of the chicken so what i used this time for my casserole is leftover turkey taco meat from like last thursday so we are all about the leftovers Oh, I'm so glad, Doug, that your friend was okay, your roommate was okay. Um, thank you for that. John said you can fill out Royal Caribbean special needs form, and there's a section on there for a refrigerator for your medicine. Oh, I would love to get Maureen's recipe for that enchilada casserole, Jim. That sounds so good. Um, yeah, Nancy, warm meal on a chilly night. Absolutely. Rick's Bevo said... Pluto TV and Tubi work on boats. That's good to know. That is very good to know. Oh, yum. Shannon, HelloFresh. I love those kinds of meal delivery services. Blue Apron, HelloFresh. They're so good. Um, Karen Clay said, question, most unusual item you've seen someone bring on board a ship that was allowed? Some weird costumes. I've seen some weird costumes on ships, and I'm not talking about Halloween. I'm talking about, like, at the 80s party. Um, weird items that were allowed. I don't know if I've really seen a whole lot of weirdness. I, I keep thinking about weird clothing items, which aren't really that weird at all. Inappropriate clothing, for sure. Like things with things on them that you shouldn't, your children should not be allowed to see. Um, I don't know, Karen. I wish I had more scandal for you. I just don't. Um, Michelle Middleton said, are we still able to decorate cabin doors or cruise lines stopping that? I have not seen them stopping it at all, Michelle. We had cabin doors decorated all over both of the cruise ships I've been on this year with Royal Caribbean and Carnival. People are all into it. Cruising on the high seas said, can you bring two bottles of wine if you're doing a back-to-back -back on Carnival? I think you probably could, and you just have to explain it to them at security and then show them your boarding passes, and they probably allow it. Lisa Kennan, don't forget to uh, message me and I'll get you that packing video. I don't have a list, but I'll help you with that. Not a problem at all. Edward Chin said, can you bring a six pack of soda on a princess cruise? Absolutely. In fact, you can take a 12 pack of soda on a princess cruise. In your carry-on luggage, make sure you don't check it. Super, super important that you don't check it. Oh, Marlena, is Matt still on live? I was trying not to step on his live stream. Darn it. Um, okay. Well, thank you for letting me know that. Lucretia said our white party's back on cruise ships. They're back on Carnival, you bet. Um, 80s Rock and Glow party is back, and the Mega Deck party, also known as White Knight, is back. Yeah, yeah. So fun. Uh-oh. John B. said he saw a katana sword in the naughty room once. Okay, there you go. We're getting those answers coming in. There we go. Ooh, yikes. Hi, Margie. How are you? Um, cruising on the high seas, can you bring, oh no, I already got that one, sorry. Um, yeah, I know, Steve. A virgin, Scarlet Lady would be a hoot for Halloween costumes. Scarlet Lady's a hoot anyway. You're going to see the costumes not on Halloween. They have that Scarlet Night, which is wild. So, um, yeah, you can dress up anytime on a, on a, um, on Scarlet Lady. 
Douglas said Norwegian does not allow door decorations, but people have been getting away with small magnets. I feel like Norwegian's more restrictive than most lines. It's really interesting. Brandon said, I booked a zipline tour at Los Veranos and PV based on recommendations. Are the shuttles back to the port regularly scheduled? Mm. I wouldn't say they're regularly scheduled, but your tour time should have a, a corresponding shuttle with it. Oh, actually, wait. No, I had to think about that. No, you're right, because you can stay and eat and chill. Yes, they are regularly scheduled, Brandon. You're not going to get stuck out there. And it's far away from the cruise line, but honestly, if even worst case scenario, you could call a cab. You really could. It would be, it would be fine to be down in the south and have to take a cab. But, yeah, they are regular. Mm-hmm. Michelle said she saw an instant pot on the... Oh, on the confiscated table. Why would you want to do any cooking? I can understand a coffee pot, but why an Instant Pot? What are you going to do? Go to the buffet, grab all the ingredients, and then cook it up in your room? That is so great, Michelle. That is amazing. Ginger said she took six bottles of wine for a cabin crawl. They never said a word. Ooh, good. Okay, good. I'm so glad. So glad. I know. Why would someone take an Instant Pot test? I don't understand it. I don't get it. Jim said, yeah, why take an Instant Pot when you can take your air fryer? <laughs> Battle of the kitchen appliances. Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Hi, Letty. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh, Sheldon said on Norwegian, magnets don't work on the inside cabins. So the inside walls of inside, yeah, the inside cabins don't have metal walls. Okay, very cool. <laughs> That is really funny. Um, first time cruiser said, how about medicines? Can I use the little daily containers or do I have to bring the huge bottles? You can absolutely take the little containers. Tess, it's really nice to see you again. I was thinking about that when you commented earlier on something on our channel. It's really great to see you back. Hi, hi, hi. Glad to have you. Um, I just, just really funny, you guys. Really funny. So here's a question for you. So of the 10 things that we mentioned earlier in the stream, the 10 things you should never bring on a cruise, was anybody surprised at any of those? Or were you like, oh yeah, I knew that already. I'm curious. Mrs. TJ said, how does Carnival know I have the cheers package? Don't see it on documents. Your cruise card. So the staff will know when they run your card that that's how your, your, I forgot what it's called. Your set sail pass, your sail and sign card, whatever. I get the, all the cruise line cards mixed up. Um, yeah, Vitamix, right? So funny. Um, Grandma on the go said, I took a clothes hanger rope and it was great to have. What did you use it for, Letty? Did you use it for like um, drying clothing? Travel life, welcome. I'm so glad you're here for the first time. That's awesome. Yeah, Tess, where did you go? Have you cruised yet? Tell me what cruise line you've been on. Okay, so let's do something a little bit different today, you guys, for our last five or so minutes of the stream. Um, I'd like, I want to take a poll of everyone here. So listen up, because I'd like everyone to participate in the chat. Um, do you have a cruise planned? And if so, what cruise line? Do you have nothing planned at all? right? So cruise line planned and which cruise line? Nothing planned at all. Or do you live in a country where you just can't cruise yet? So one of those three things. Let me know in the chat. Go. Denisha said she was surprised about CBD. So was I. I had no idea. And heard a rumor on our last cruise that it was an issue in one of the ports. And I have not been able to prove that. But yes, Margie was surprised about the steamer. Nancy was also surprised about the steamer. Oh, yeah. Vernon is right. A small pocket knife is considered a weapon. No knives over four inches are allowed. That is a weapon. Drying bathing suits, Letty. Okay, good. Um, yes, Paul. The cruising travel days on the ship to Alaska are amazing for views. Okay, very interested to see what you guys have planned here. I'm seeing Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean. Ooh, I love this. This is great. We've got a Norwegian coming in there. Five cruises on Royal. Carnival Panorama for Christmas, Nancy. Oh, how wonderful. That should be great. Ooh, Lori's going on Princess. Steve's going on. Steve and Shannon are going on Celebrity. Okay. I'm still looking. You guys are doing great. I'm, I'm really, um, really intrigued by those of you who have lots of cruises planned. Kevin's going on Mardi Gras. Banya's going on Holland America. Silver Sea Moon, Sharon. What a treat. That's going to be amazing. Lucia said, I'm in Australia. Can't cruise yet. 
Jennifer, six carnival cruises. Um, Steve B said, also, if you're taking any prescriptions that are considered narcotics or controlled substances, these should stay in the container with a label. Thank you, Steve. That's excellent advice. Thank you so much for that. Still looking at all the different cruises you all booked. Two princess cruises. Wow. Angelo, four cruises. My goodness sakes. Holland America for Valerie, too. I'm really, really excited to see some of you doing Holland America. Also, Holland America, we have Vivian. Very good to know. Fun, the travel life. These are really great, you guys. Thank you for listing this off. Ooh, Bethany, Hertigruten, Antarctica. <gasps> what a dream. Oh, man. That is so amazing. All right, cool. Thank you for sharing all of that with me, you guys. I'm actually, I'm actually very encouraged by how many of you do have something booked. A few of you said that you can't do anything yet or you don't have anything booked yet. Um, Barney said, my girlfriend and I want to go on a carnival cruise, but not sure how it is now with COVID. So we still, so I think you're still deciding, you know, you do have to wear a mask and you do have to get tested and you do have to be vaccinated for the most part on carnival too. So it's different, but it's definitely fun and reduced capacity on carnival is really nice. It's going to go away. So take advantage of it. Lots of you doing some back to backs as well. That's exciting. I'm still looking at all your cruises. Wow, love this. Thanks for letting me know you're a creator cruising on the high seas. Any of you are welcome to do that if you'd like. Um, Stephanie Dunaway, Carnival Panorama New Year's Eve 8 day. Oh, we had our eye on that cruise. Stephanie, that's an expensive cruise, but it looks glorious. I love that you get an extra day. It's like two days in Cabo, I think. That sounds so fun. Wow, New Zealand, Karen. Oh, man. Mike and Cheryl lost eight cruises. Wow, you guys, that's rough. Ginger, not booked on Royal out of California yet, but maybe I might be able to get on the, the media or preview cruise. I'm going to see what happens. Thank you, Tanya. Aw, Chris. <laughs> Aw, not yet. We don't have anything planned yet. All right. These were awesome, guys. Wonder of the Seas for D Streeter. Is anybody booked on a Disney cruise, just out of curiosity? Do we have any Disney cruisers out there? I saw lots of Princess Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Carnival, um, and a few cool exotic lions like Hurtigruten and Silver Sea. That was exciting to see. A lot, I think a lot of you are choosing um, Royal Caribbean, a few carnivals in there. Yeah, I know what you mean, Tess. Can't turn down free. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, we are about ready to go and eat dinner. Does anybody have any last-minute questions? Nancy said, these live streams truly help my anxiety, so thank you, Sherry, Mr. Crucifix TV, and everyone here. Nancy, thank you. Gosh, it's our pleasure. I'm glad that we can ease that a little bit for you. And being together, hanging out with friends is the best thing, isn't it? Just all kind of, you know, we're in it together. Thankfully, now we're talking about better things. Okay. Just taking a quick peek here to see if I have missed any questions. I know, Beachy Mama. Agree. Agree. All right. Ginger, river cruises are back. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Jim, you love children. Stop it. You're so silly. All right. Good job, guys. Queen of Fun Travel said enjoy your dinner, and we will do just that. We are going to do that, and we'll be back here Wednesday night, same time, same place, Wednesday and Friday. 515 Pacific. Let me get you the cocktail recipe for Friday night because Friday we're making our big special one. We're making the aviation cocktail. You'll see the dates right here when I pop these in. And I want to make sure you guys all get a chance. I know, Betty, Antarctica's my dream too. Tess wants to know if anybody's going on a Halloween cruise. They're the best. They really are the best. Oh, thank you all so much for all your kind comments. You guys are overwhelmingly kind right now. Thank you. Yvonne, you can take any size of luggage you want. Cruise lines do not limit your luggage size. Flash to a picture of um, Yvonne with like a giant suitcase up to here trying to wheel it, right? No, you can take anything you want. You're welcome, first time cruiser. It's absolutely our pleasure. We love answering your questions, and that's what we're here to do. Thank you, Vernon and LC. Appreciate your kindness. Thank you all for your kindness tonight. We really appreciate it. This 30 minutes with you is just awesome. And we can't wait to do it again Wednesday. Until next time, see you on the high seas.
Hey, click me to subscribe.